Recently, I attended a high-profile conference on Future IT Summit Asia at ITC Hotel, and a speaker was discussing on case study of smart car of future. So, I thought, uh, let me share my insights with you all on this subject uh, of trending technology. Hi, friends. I'm your technical coach, Swam Soda, and welcome you to this uh, event series of Prime with an end of futuristic technologies. Thanks for fabulous response to our previous episodes on robotics and smart city home dot in. In continuation, today we will learn about smart robotic autonomous cars. Are you shocked or excited if I am using robotic here? Maybe uh, many people may disagree, but I keep my views that the driverless cars are moving robots with a computer vision in the form of camera, plus various sensors vision to understand its environment, plus. Localization through digital mapping to know its location, plus AI-based plot planning ability to uh, uh, think about the most optimum route, and not the least centralized controls to ensure safe mobility and how the car steers the wheels. Thus, such self-driving car uses technologies to replace driver assistant with a mixture of. Uh, of sensors software radar gps laser beams camera monitor monitor road conditions and such automated safety features to navigate how wonderful it will be to own a smart city home dot in with a smart car that is capable of sensing its environment and navigating us to our destiny without a human driver and most interestingly it does a biometric for security entertainment etc for the Other features of such a smart, friendly, self-driving car would include self-parking, lane keeping, traffic jam assistant, emergency braking, along with adaptive controls. To run this complex machine, the three systems like scripted, that is pre-planned and embedded physical model. Then the supervised system that is automated and would include many functionalities of planning, uh, planning and decision, sensing and perception. monitoring and diagnosis networking and collaboration and further there are intelligent autonomous system to uh, embed attribute uh, to a human uh, intelligence in the software of such autonomous vehicles and their controlling elements likewise the five levels of autonomous car like at zero there's no automation and driver is responsible for controlling the car but at level 1 The driver gets assistance with some adaptive control, like he can uh, take his feet off pedals. Then at level two, there is a partial automation to a uh, pass steering with acceleration and braking. But the driver need to monitor and be ready to step in. At level three, it's a conditional automation where drivers are focused only on certain high level tasks while taking their mind off on routine. For example, car stops upon failure or a, a park safety alongside if driver is sleeping. Next, level four is high automation where the car is fully capable of monitoring uh, driving uh, environment and uh, finally, uh, level five is full automation where the uh, where there is no driver, no steering, but there are smart cabins for passengers' voice command. That will be a wonder drive, isn't it? Excited. 
I can sense in my audience there are some techy guys who are curious to know how this all works technically. Short answer would be hardware and software just like in robot. Kindly see my Swift Series 9 from this playlist. Nevertheless, let me elaborate by saying that while hardware are specifically designed, such autonomous cars are equipped with a powerful software and that serverless system work in conjunction with each other to control autonomous vehicle as well as connected autonomous vehicle or a CAV. By the way, what is CAV? Well, they are uh, they use many different communication technologies to communicate with driver, with other cars on the road, with roadside infrastructure, and with cloud, so as to improve safety, efficiency, and commute time. Coming to the technical aspect, as there are no human on the wheel, the car needs a smart eyes in the form of a video camera to detect traffic lights, uh, read road signs, and keep track with the other vehicles while also looking out for potentials and uh, other obstacles uh, with enough information about their size, shape and position. So that's its uh, control algorithm with deep learning can identify and uh, plot the safest uh, cause, uh, cause of action. Also technically speaking, since cars are moving machines, uh, so the solution essentially involves special kinds of uh, laser beam probe called LIDAR. Just like in our brain, we have radar system. The other technology is miniature vision of a communication technology that keeps the internet humming called integrated photodynamics. As discussed, the radar control will kick in whenever an obstacle will come within say 15 feet to 30 feet of the car. Then the software of car's brain uses deep learning to review camera and GPS data. Talking about the data analysis, there is a central computer uh, wherein various sensors or data like LIDAR, ultrasonic, camera, radar, GPS, etc. are processed to manipulate uh, steering, acceleration and braking. This is how a self-driving car runs. Well, it sounds easy for a non tech listener, but for developers like us, there are many challenges in the way like bad weather conditions where cameras are unable to track due, uh, due to fog or heavy rain. Other challenges are dealing with unpredictable humans like careless speeding driver who may not observe the traffic rules on the other side. Also some issue may come from digital mapping where maps become out of date as road condition changes or maybe construction work in progress. To conclude, upon addressing the uh, machines of uh, driverless cars, Sensors will become an essence in our future life as they are integral part of autonomous vehicles, smart city, home, dot in, etc. And so, advanced sensors will potentially have more functionality addition. It will be quite interesting to see how, when and where these uh, driverless cars will run in future. As a tech lover, for me, I will be fascinated to see the effect it will have on such place and people. I positively believe that uh, uh, such smart cars can significantly increase productivity with great efficiency in mobility while making commute safer as it removes the human error. On this closing note, I hope the discussion was truly futuristic in this series of fun with ready futuristic technologies and, I'll, and I look forward to see you soon most probably to discuss on drone flying machine technology which I am presently shedding out of my curiosity and passion. Ensure that you are subscribed and press the bell icon for notification. And bye for now. Take care.